So two Mrs. Weavers, and then if we go just down from there, you can see Mr. Weaver. And you know what? Unlike us in the human species, Mr. Weaver is much better looking than Mrs. Weaver. You see that? See how bright and yellow he is? And look, he's got a red eye. Now that tells us that or gives us a very good clue as to which weaver he is. We get lots of different kinds of weavers and that one you can see he's got a black mask so he could be a masked weaver but we get two different kinds of masked weaver and the village weavers also got a mask so which one is he? Is he a village weaver? Is he a lesser masked weaver? Or is he a greater masked weaver or southern masked weaver? And what we look at there is the eye colour, and we can see that his eye colour is red. Now, if we then look at his back, has he got any spots on the back of his head? Well, he does a little bit have spots on the back of his head, but I think that he doesn't have spots on his back. And so he's not a village weaver, he is a masked or southern masked weaver. Isn't that nice? I think that's very cool. Now, I'll show you his little home. His home is just down below there. There we are. He's got two little homes there. And I suspect that he didn't build all of them. In fact, I suspect he probably only built one. And that would have been built either by his friends or maybe by him. Maybe he didn't use them. And what's interesting, everyone, is that he builds that nest all on his own. And he does it every single year. He must make a new nest. And you know what? When he wants to find a girlfriend or a wife, he builds that nest and then he takes her around and he says, well, do you like my nest there? And normally what she says is, no, I don't like it very much at all. And then she tears it to pieces to show him that he's not very good at building nests. So then he has to start all over again. And eventually he'll make one that's good enough for the ladies to accept. And then, well, then he can find a wife. And eventually they'll make new little weavers. And you know what? In just a few short months, in fact, probably a few short weeks, he will go from being that bright, yellow, lovely colour to being as dull as the females are. In fact, you can see that starting to happen already. And that's because what happens is that as they go into the summer or winter time, they lose what we call their breeding plumage and they become dull like the females. Now, Diane, you say, what do they weave? Well, just look at the bottom of your picture there. They weave those nests. Isn't that amazing? So he weaves all the long pieces of grass together to form that beautiful nest, which is safe from predators. It's warm inside for the little chicks. Aidan, you've just asked a very, very clever question. You say, why do the weaver birds build their nests in such thorny bushes? Well, Aidan, if you think about it, I don't know what kind of a neighborhood you live in, but out here, the neighborhood that these weavers live in is quite dangerous because there are lots of things that want to eat them. And one of the things that wants to eat them is snakes. And so if you build your nest hanging on the end of a bush that is very difficult for a snake to climb, for example, a very thorny bush, well, then it's a very safe place to live. So they build their nests on thorny bushes for security and it stops things like genets and cats and snakes and various other things from getting up onto the bush and then into the nests. And if we go to the nest to the left of that, they're actually trying to get into it. Go to the... no, no never mind. There we are. And you can hear them calling even now. Vzzz, vzzz. Just zoom out a little. And you can see the two birds sitting up above there. Vzzz. That's a lovely call. It reminds me always of the summer. But of course, as you're going into summer, we are going into winter. Then there's a dove. Oh, the dove unfortunately has flown off. Never mind. I'm going to move a little bit closer to these weavers because what they are doing is flying in and out of that nest. And I'd quite like you to see that. 